Good morning. So today is going to be a slow day because we don't have that much on scan except for these sub dollar name that I try to stop trading because they're just too expensive on fees and overall even if you have a great trade you end up being left with only a small piece of the pie and I like to keep a bigger piece. So let's get right in. All right, so at this point, we are only a few minutes, about six minutes from the open, and I don't have like a specific stock that I'm really watching or any really good game plan. So these are the day that I normally get in big trouble because I'm gonna be too loose with everything. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading. So I'll probably just be sitting for the first 25, 30 minutes just to make sure that if I get into a setup, it's a real one and I had time to process it and not just jump in the first thing that I see that's out of my playbook. So I'll see you guys after the open. So I just finished trading the morning session and honestly, it was what I expected that it was kind of slow, no big opportunity, but I did scalp a few things and made a couple bucks, like made almost nothing. But overall, I still traded well. And there was something that was quite important is there was this ticker that I tried twice. And this is my rule, no more than two shot on a ticker and I actually was able to control myself with no more than two strike, which is good. You know, sometimes you have rules and you just break them constantly, but today I took a small breather and I was able to follow my plan. So I'm gonna take another small breather and then we'll be back this afternoon for more trading. For this afternoon, we have PINS. So there was a breaking news on it, pointing out their revenue growth. So maybe there's something to do. Other than that, I don't see that much happening, but overall, I'm gonna take it easy because I didn't really make that much money this morning. So I don't wanna go from a small green day to a full red one if there's not like great opportunity because there's always tomorrow. The market will always be open. So I'll focus for the last you know, two hours of the day and let's see how it goes. So it's about 3 p.m. There's nothing to trade and I can't find a really good opportunity, but I'm gonna go over the trades that I took today. So as usual, this is not financial advice. This is for educational and information purpose only. So let's get into it. All right, so the first trade we're gonna be going over is gonna be on CNXA. This trade is gonna be a trade on a cheap stock. Once again, I didn't wanna really participate in it, but the trade was really easy and I ended up taking it. It was not the trade I expected. It was a lot less than what I wanted, but overall it is what it is and I'll live with it. We can actually see that it had a, like a lot of range, right? From the 8 cent to the 27 cents in terms of percentage. It's pretty wide, but what I traded wasn't really good. So when it comes to this cheap stock, cheap stock like this, I don't really care about the news that much because volume and price action is really what matters as long as it's not like an offering or something like that. So the trade I took was pretty much uh, just over here when we're about to break the higher day. Um, I just felt like it was trading a decent amount of volume and it felt like it wasn't too trappy because sometimes in some stock we you know we have these big push and we come down and then we go back up and stuff like that and it makes it really hard to trade or to trust. This one felt pretty easy to trust. So I bought it just over here and I sold it, sold some for like one R because I'm risking like about one cent. And when I sell over here for about, you know, two, three cents, it's a good risk reward trade. 
uh, for sure with the fees it's quite annoying but overall if i can keep 50 percent of the money i did it's it's pretty good but what really ended up happening is a book push down so when we look at this execution it's pretty simple uh, when it comes to setup right so it was just a wedge breakout and i sold for like 2r and then it kind of came back down and I just bailed out of the trade because I told myself like what am I doing but it would have ended up being a good trade if I would have stayed with it because we have a CNX safe. We can see that if I would have kept my stop at the 18 cents like I was supposed to and I would have just trailed versus a prior low maybe I would have get stopped out here but it happened so fast that maybe not and then we had a pretty good move and it was also a measured mood so this one went from 13 to 20 so that means seven cents and we have 20 like 1920 to pretty much 27 so the exact move up which is kind of what you would expect for this type of price action so moving on to the next one the next one was on avgr so this stock yesterday uh was a bit hard on short because it, it had a, like a really big move up but it also had like a pretty a uh, decent move down after that in the after hour it just spiked and you know it probably damaged a lot of people that were holding overnight so when we came to today uh, i knew some broker were restricting it so people weren't allowed to necessarily short it or stuff like that but i thought there was some decent setup i thought the best setup was in the pre-market i didn't take it but just same thing like a wedge here you know a top here it comes back comes back and then it breaks you could probably just risk, you know, that $8 with a, you know, 850 average, and you would have had like a really good trade. And what I did, ended up taking me was the trade just over here. So we have a push, we fell, we start to grind up. So I got long, you know, with the slippage and all that stuff, like somewhere in the 960. And I sold mostly for one R and all that stuff. I tried it again and got like some, uh, slippage on this trying to sell but going over the execution uh, we can see right so it's kind of a wedge over here just like not the greatest one but just on the momentum stuff just bought over here versus pretty much the nine bucks and then i just sold for like one r and then we it just seems pretty odd so i sold the rest over here added back for the break knowing that it was gonna probably stop out people but this, like, um, I thought I sold, but then I didn't. So then I was waiting for a bounce and I ended up just bailing over here for like pretty much a break even when you consider what I sold and what I didn't. So these were pretty lame trade, to be honest. And it's definitely not some trade I'm really proud of. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.